I got introduced to boating while doing volunteer work for Friends of the River here on the Stanislaus River, trying to encourage people to vote against New Melodians Dam. We were taking, introducing a lot of people to the river that hadn't been down that river. And that was my start. We were doing paddle boats, working. I had no gear at the time. I remember I used wool socks and tight wool shirts that I got from Salvation Army to get my, that was my start to boating. One of the reasons that, that I stuck with boating was I really liked the culture, the people, the community of whitewater rafting. And I started working as a whitewater guide, actually right here on the Tuolumne River. And, uh, you know, working my summers there freelance and working for whoever needed a rent -a guide that day and on the Stanislaus because we still had the Stanislaus then so we did they were day trips mostly so we'd take people down the river serve them lunch and in the river there at Parrots Ferry and that was my professional start to rafting I was getting paid and picking up tips and living the life of Riley it was Pretty fun. I've done quite a bit of boating. I went out to Idaho, I think the summer that turned 50, to work on the Middle Fork and the main salmon. Then you had to have a license as a guide and to get that license you had to have a river log of your river miles. And that's how I got started keeping track. So same summer that I turned 50, I started keeping track of my river miles. And I've logged since I turned 50 well over 6,000 river miles. So it's kind of become like a diary for me. So, the Tuolumne River is still my favorite river of all the rivers I've done, and I've done it the most. You know, I started probably when I was 30, I'm 68 years old now, so I've been running it 38 years. And I probably rode that river maybe 300 times, and with a rem remarkably few bad days on it. I've I've flipped boats there, and I really couldn't tell you how many times I've flipped boats, but I've never had to end up really bad. What I like about that river is that it's challenging. You have to pay attention all the time, and it's, I like that challenge, I always have, and I like the technicality of that river and it changes at every single level. You know, every 500 feet of CFS change, it's a different river, which means like it's dynamic. Every time I get on that river, it is a different river. Ten years ago, I started volunteering with the Forest Service there as a river ranger. And our focus there was to create support for that river and access for the public. With the lead of Bob Stanley, we built ramps at Merrill's Pool and we built an access point for Cherry Creek Run because what used to take an hour and a half can now be done in 20 minutes. So a lot of them have thanked me and thanked Bob talking about how we extended their career because we shortened that grueling put-in, literally down to as little as 15 minutes. Some of the highlights I've had there at the Tuolumne, uh, one, for example, I got to take Randy Moore, who's the head of Region 5 of the Forest Service, down the river. It was a one-day trip, kind of hurried. It was a long day because the flow was I think below 1100 that day. 
But it was a highlight for me to take the top boss of the Region 5 down the river. It was really fun and to see him enjoy it so much, to be almost childlike was a real highlight of my career. I, I enjoy that. We take a lot of scientist types down the river and we some type, sometimes take what I call mucky muck types from the Forest Service down the river. And I really like it. I like introducing these people to the river or a day on the river that normally are stuck in the office looking at computer screens. For me, that, that's a highlight. I like giving them that day. I think what pulls me into boating and keeps me whitewater rafting is it's a form of wilderness travel. In my mind, I'm, I'm flowing through the landscape and that I find that very appealing. And I find it really appealing that I can do it in such a luxurious style. I mean, we've got ice and we've got cooking kitchens and we have sleeping bags and we have tents and we have it's quite a luxurious way to travel and you can put together a long expedition I've lived I lived out of this raft one on one trip where we put in at San Wash and went all the way down the Hype Marina obviously taking our time but we were 28 days on the water and I was doing what I call Tom Sawyering you just I'd see something I like and pull over and camp and stay there for as long as I want to, multiple days, pull up camp and head down river and in some cases only go another mile, see a place that I liked and pull over and, and do it again. It's a it's a relaxed, slow pace that I enjoy immensely. I no, I've done doing it almost 40 years now and it just doesn't get old <laughs> and I get together with my brothers and do it with them and I, that's very appealing it's a much more appealing way to get together for me because we're doing something and we're all three of us pretty action orientated you know like to be outdoors whether it be skiing or rafting or hunting we like to do something when we get together. It's better than sitting on the couch and watching daytime TV and there's that strong draw for me. It's, it's a physical activity I can do with my family. You know, I, it's hard for me to imagine not boating. I know the, that, you know, that day will come when I can't boat anymore. I think I don't know what that'll feel like. I, you know, I, I wonder like, what goes away first, the rafting or the skiing, or is it pretty simultaneous? And I don't know. Maybe that's the end of my life when I can't do that anymore. I don't. I, you know, sitting on the porch in the rocking chair doesn't have a lot of appeal for me. And when I was younger, I used to think that my end times would come either in a class 5 rapid or on some really steep tight chute where the snow lets loose and buries me and who knows maybe that still could be the way I end it's hard for me to imagine just dying because I got so old but here I am knocking on the door of 70 and sometimes wondering how I made it this far
me, help me, help me break away. I got a big fat addiction to the white water. And I love to live so pleasantly. Live this life of luxury. Blazing on the two wall of me in the summertime. In the summertime, help me, help me, help me, Mr. Wizard.